Coming up on Hands on Mac, let's take our first look at Apple intelligence. Stay tuned. Podcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Welcome back to Hands on Mac. I am Micah Sargent, and today we are taking a look at Apple intelligence features because Apple has just rolled out to developers iOS 18.1 beta 1. And in that beta is a, or I should say are, a series of Apple intelligence features. These are, of course, the features that Apple has promised uh, will become or introduced as part of the next version of iOS, iPadOS, etc. And while all of the Apple intelligence features aren't available, some of them are available in preview, I should say, uh, that give you access to some of the cool tools uh, that Apple has been working on for the, well, for some time, actually, at this point. So let's head over to iPadOS to take a look. All right. Here we are on iPadOS, and the first thing that I want to show you is a little bit of information about Siri. So what I need you to do is kind of look at the edges of the screen here. And in fact, what I think I'll do uh, to kind of give you a better idea is we will kind of zoom out on the uh, view so you're able to see what this actually looks like. Um, so let me zoom out just a hair and watch the edges of the screen for me. As I tap and hold to activate Siri, you're going to see it's not the Siri orb that typically appears at the bottom, but instead Siri is going to kind of appear around the edges in a colorful pattern. So I'm going to tap and hold the button. You're going to see Siri kind of transcribe what I'm saying and just kind of watch along if you are watching. So here is Siri popping up and Siri appeared from the kind of top left of the corner, uh, lots of color on the display. And after kind of this, this glance of rainbow across the screen, uh, Siri just appears in the background edges of the frame, showing you that it is indeed listening. I am still tapping and holding the button, so it's still showing up. So what I'm going to do is release the button. And after... Sorry, I don't understand. Siri clearly knows that I wasn't talking to Siri uh, in that case, and so it stopped. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you one of the new features that it has, which is the ability to provide device support questions. So I could ask, for example, how do I turn off my iPad? To turn off your iPad, simultaneously press and hold the top button and either volume button until the sliders appear, then drag the power off slider. I could also say something like, help me figure out how to change the brightness on my iPad screen. I'm sorry, I'm afraid I can't do mm. that. It should be able to do that. How can I change the brightness on my iPad screen? To change the screen brightness there we on go. your iPad, you can either... So in that case, it was able to tell me what I needed to do, and it is showing transcriptions of what I'm saying. Now, if you pause and continue speaking, which I'm going to show you in just a moment, it's a little bit better at figuring out what it is that you're trying to do. So let me try this. Hey, um, can you, um, oh, how do I turn down um, how do I turn down the volume on my iPad? To lower the volume on your and iPad, you can either... in the previous version of uh, Apple's intelligent uh, assistant, it would struggle to be able to respond to me after all of those stumbles, those pauses, et cetera. So it's a little bit better about being able to do that. Now, it also provides the ability to type to the virtual assistant so you can do that as well. Now, the reason that I'm on a Safari page is because I wanted to talk about one of the new features. Um, we heard a little bit about Safari summaries, and while there is a new kind of view for the browser, if I tap the top left button in the browser, I can see um, a little bit of information about this page, including listening to this page. But if I tap show reader and I switch this to the reader view, I can read through this blog post with kind of a slimmed down, trimmed down view. But if you'll notice at the top of the screen, there's now a summarize button. And next to it is the Apple Intelligence logo. So I'm going to tap that button. 
and we are going to be provided with a summary of this page. HomePods offer a range of features beyond music playback, including alarms, ambient sounds, intercom, personal requests, and home security. I'm also going to go to this page from the National Archives about how Flora McDonald helped with Bonnie Prince Charlie back in the day. So we'll go to show to reader or show reader, and we'll summarize this page. And you can see that this summary is much longer here. Uh, so it says Flora McDonald assisted Bonnie Prince Charlie in escaping from South East to Sky by disguising him as a woman and providing him with a boat. They stayed at Lady Clan Ronald's house and later at Kingsbury's, where McDonald suspected Kingsbury knew the disguised prince's identity. The prince eventually reached Rasse to consult with Rasse himself for his future security. So, yes, the story of the Bonnie Prince Charlie. Uh, uh, and his particularly bonniness uh, was there. So we will go ahead and tap on that and hide the reader again. Uh, that's what you can do in Safari. Uh, there are also a few other features I will mention. I don't use the uh, built-in mail app, but for folks who do, now you can get your mail, um, kind of the most important messages as Safari sees it, or rather as mail sees it, at the top of your list. It's a lot like what you get with Google's Gmail uh, and some other browsers and uh, mail clients that provide the same functionality. Although a new feature included is, and again, like some other uh, mail clients, is a smart reply feature. Another section I wanted to mention is in the settings app. Uh, now there is a special addition to focus modes. So if I'm in do not disturb, I can choose to toggle on a feature called intelligent breakthrough and silencing. And what this does is it uses on device intelligence to figure out what I would probably consider to be a priority and display those messages, allow those messages to be pushed through if the system believes that they are important and appropriate to be displayed at a specific time. Um, I also wanted to mention that in Photos, the Photos app, there are now new features, including being able to search for photos with just natural language. So you could say, um, look for the photo where my dog is wearing a hat and Siri might be able to surface that for you. Uh, it can also help you to find specific moments in video clips, which is really great, and the ability to create memories using kind of natural language uh, processing. So you can say, create a video of my uh, previous beach trips, and it will intelligently put that together. The last feature is one that I can show you as well, and that is with the uh, Pages app here. And so I'm going to type something out. Uh, we'll go with Hands on Mac is a podcast about Apple technology. In the show, Micah Sargent helps users make the most of their Apple gizmos and gadgets. Uh, each week, he brings the answer to a question, comma, um, an interesting new topic, comma, or the latest features and functionality from Apple. If you own an iPhone, an iPad, an Apple Watch, comma, or any other Apple device, comma, this show is absolutely for you. Be sure to subscribe to the show in your podcast app of choice. We'll see you soon, period. Now, uh, Apple has added some features for that they call writing tools for interacting with text and almost any application that uses text. So the first thing I'm going to do is command A to highlight this text. And you will see that after cut and copy in the menu, there's a new option called writing tools. If I tap on that, up pops this Apple intelligence window where it suggests a few things. So the first thing I'm going to do is choose proofread. So it's going to look through and it is going to not provide any suggestions. So what I'm going to do is actually, I am going to, uh, I'm going to, 
put something bad in here. I'm going to say there are, oh, I'm going to do T-H-E-I-R, R, A-L-O-T is one word. Oh God, that really hurts me. I've got to say, um, uh, a lot of, um, special episodes that you should check out. Okay, so what I've done is I've used the wrong there, I've done a lot as one word, and then I've also added an apostrophe to episode to pluralize it, which we all know as we're listening and watching that those are inaccurate. I will choose writing tools and I will choose proofread, and now it's surely going to um, make some, it didn't make some suggestions. That is surprising, but as you can imagine, um, this is still something that is in, oh yeah, okay, it did, it did make suggestions, so it fixed things. There is spelled correctly, are a lot of special episodes with the proper, um, the proper lack of an apostrophe. So when I do tap replace though, it did not replace it. So again, this is beta, and you are going to run into issues uh as you can see here and so i'm just going to copy the new version and we'll paste the new version in there instead now that was just one of the writing tools so i'm going to select this entire thing i'm going to choose writing tools again and now i'm going to choose rewrite uh after actually i take out that sentence there are a lot of special episodes that you should check out because it just comes out of nowhere so we'll highlight that. We'll choose writing tools. Now we're going to choose rewrite. Now rewrite is going to look at something and kind of add a little bit of flair to it, or maybe just make it a little bit different. So here's the new version that Apple suggests. Hands on Mac is a podcast dedicated to Apple technology hosted by Micah Sargent. The show aims to empower users to maximize the capabilities of their Apple devices. Each episode features a question, an intriguing topic, or the latest updates and functionalities from Apple. Whether you own an iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, or any other Apple gadget, this podcast is an absolute must listen for you. Don't forget to subscribe to the show and your preferred podcast app. We look forward to seeing you soon. So we'll copy that version and add that in there. I'm going to highlight again and choose writing tools. And now we have some options. We can make it more friendly. We can make it more professional. We can make it more concise. I'm going to choose to make it concise. Hands on Mac hosted by Micah Sargent empowers Apple users to maximize their devices capabilities. Each episode features a question topic or Apple updates. Whether you own an iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch or any other Apple gadget, this podcast is must listen. Subscribe in your preferred podcast app. We look forward to seeing you. And so I will put that down below. We'll select the text one more time. I won't go through all of them because that would take us forever. But I am going to choose um, friendly because I'm curious what that makes it sound like. So we'll choose friendly here. <laughs> hey there, fellow Apple enthusiasts. If you're looking for a podcast that's all about the latest tech from Apple, then you've come to the right place. Hands on Mac is hosted by the awesome, oh, Apple, Micah Sargent, and it's all about helping you unlock the full potential of your Apple devices. So we'll copy that version. We'll pop it down below. What I want to do, though, is go back to Safari, and I want to take the text here that we have Bum, ba, bum, uh, about the Bonnie Prince Charlie. And I think down to that paragraph should be enough. I'll copy that and we will paste it into, whoa, let's see about pasting it and matching the style. Uh, it doesn't seem to, to want to let me paste. So we will um, select all and then we will make the text just a little bit smaller because that's all very large. There we go. So I am going to start selecting this text. And what we're going to do essentially is highlight this. And we don't want the original thing. And the writing tool that we're going to use is, there we go, is summary. So we can get a summary of this and it talks about Miss McDonald. OK, that's good. Now I want key points from this piece. Uh, Bonnie Prince Charlie's escape. 
Miss McDonald assisted Bonnie Prince Charlie's escape from Southeast by disguising him as a servant and taking him to Sky, and then O'Neill's involvement. I want a list from this, which that'll be interesting to see what the list could be. It might be a lot like what we've had before. It's not necessarily made for a list, so um, I'll be fascinated by ah. So it gives some kind of bullet points of what happened. And then last but not least is table. Of course, this doesn't really present for needing a table, but you can imagine that if I were to write something, um, you know, uh, yesterday my dog ate um, two biscuits, three tablespoons of food, and a teaspoon of peanut butter. Today my dog ate one biscuit four tablespoons of food, and half a teaspoon of peanut butter. That could end up being put into a table. And so Apple's intelligence tools could automatically do that. Now, these are just the first set of Apple intelligence features that are part of uh, the next version of iOS. This is currently a waitlist feature, so only developers who hop on the 18.1 beta and sign up for the waitlist are able to try it out uh, in order to gain access to what's available right now. Apple will presumably keep adding new uh, bits of features that it has announced previously to the beta, but this is simply what we have access to now. Folks, thank you so much for tuning into this week's episode of Hands on Mac. I appreciate you joining me every week here for the show. And I will see you again next week for another episode of Hands on Mac. Bye-bye.